Hi, ladies. Congratulations. This is WWE superstar Dana Brooke. I'm super proud and honored to be here with you ladies today. Um, and I, I wanted to first off um, give my congratulations to you ladies. Uh, this is a huge accomplishment and, and an honor for me to be talking with you guys. I had two questions for you guys. So, uh, Ayo Dele, I wanted to wonder, um, what why did you apply for the Girl Up Scholarship? Um, so I was actually, when I was little, I was really anti-femininity, um, like elementary school, middle school. And so I tried like everything in my power to be like a tomboy. And I even, you know, tried to downplay the fact that like I figure skated just because it's more of like a girly sport. Um, and it took me a long time, not until high school did I realize like, oh, you know, being a girl is actually really cool. <laughs> um, and so my end goal is like to become an educator and I applied because Girl Up's like going to help me academically to get to that point so that like I can hopefully teach kids that, you know, being a girl is good or femininity is actually a positive thing. Hopefully they won't have to like go through all the stuff that I did to figure that out. So, <laughs> yeah. That's amazing. I, I, I hope we can talk one day because I have a very similar story um, in regards to everything that you said, but it's amazing that you want to educate young girls and women in the, in the future generations and, and take from you. So I, I greatly understand and appreciate you uh, signing up for that scholarship. That's amazing. And what about you, Tanvi? Um, so I first heard about Girl Up through the 2020 Leadership Summit online. And it was just an amazing summit. And later on, I saw an email and I looked at the leadership um, and looked at the leadership opportunity. And I was just reading the criteria and it was like, oh my God, this is exactly who I am. Like, I'm not going to sports tech, like that's not my main goal. I'm going into kinesiology, but I also want sports to be a huge part of my life because growing up, they have been, like I play several sports at my school. And they just helped me be flexible, organized, and have taught me so many skills. So I really wanted that to be a part of my life moving forward in the future. And yeah, that's why I applied for this amazing Sports Girl Up Scholarship. That's a beautiful and congratulations and uh, much more success to you guys. And one more question is how do you guys um, intend to participate in sports going further in your college career and even beyond? Well, I know, you know, I still like I still run. I love to run um, a lot, but a lot of the about a third of the students at my school don't really know how to swim. So if anything, I would try to like do some type of program that would teach young students early how to swim. That'd be really cool just because it's a skill that you know everybody should have. So, yeah. Exactly, of course. So you would love to teach young women and, and girls how to swim here in the near future and definitely, yeah, definitely. Yeah. I feel like that goes like forward to all aspects of life. Um, you know, I, I saw a, a video not too long ago of a one year old little girl swimming. I mean, that's, you have to, I, that's everything. There's water everywhere, even in a bathtub to a jacuzzi to a swimming pool to in the ocean. So I applaud you for that. That's amazing. Thanks. <laughs> You're welcome. And what about you, sweetheart? So due to COVID, it's hard to go directly into sports. However, nothing's guaranteed, but I would love to be part of several like community sports that are offered at my university or college that I get accepted into. And later on, um, I'd also like to be like a mentor and advocate for little girls because I've seen so many little girls who start off by doing sports, but then later shift their passion and they go a different path, which is like, I want to tell them and be a voice for them, telling them, no, sports is also a path for you and you can definitely go through that path. And if there's more girls that want to go into that path, then there'll be more opportunities. So yeah, I would like to advocate for little girls going into sports. Wow, that is beautiful. I'm proud of you. That is amazing, truly amazing. I'm so glad you guys inspired me. That's amazing. Going forth and having the platform I do, I definitely am going to be a huge advocate for both of you. Oh, thank you. Yeah, that's really cool. Um, you know, thanks for those really good questions. Uh, now we have some for you. Okay, um, awesome. So how are you um, and how is WWE continuing to empower girls to get into and stay in sports? 
so everyone has their own story and everyone has their own unique path of how they got into WWE. And we each share such a common bond and strong bond because we're in the ring and we're trying to do the same thing as you ladies are is to inspire other people. For myself, I can say my path was very different too. I was a gymnast for 18 years. Gymnastics was all I knew. Gymnastics was my life. Um, and I didn't really know anything else. As a little girl, people ask you questions of what are you going to be when you grow up, right? And I thought to myself, I was going to be in the Olympics. I w that was my dream. That was my goal. I had no other plan or anything afterwards. Unfortunately, injuries had kind of stopped my career and I was super lost. I was like, what am I going to do now? And, you know, my parents had always instilled in me education first and foremost but I was always super athletic and I, and I wanted to use that to my advantage and, and try and get a college scholarship and things of that nature I tried diving and swimming and I, I liked it but I'm from Cleveland Ohio it was super cold outside I was a girl and I didn't want to get my hair wet and everything like that so I tried diving and you never know unless you try things and I was just like you know something this isn't my thing so then I went to college and I got my fashion merchandising and design. Um, I graduated fashion merchandising and design, a bachelor's in science. And I tried the whole nine to five thing and, and the job, but I always felt like I wanted to inspire more. I wanted to inspire people and motivate people never to give up on their dreams and never say never. So I tried to transition into fitness and bodybuilding where I got my pro card and I competed around the world and I saw so many great athletes and also young girls in gymnastics at these events. And um, I, I had that platform to inspire just that small niche of community and I needed that next step. And, you know, WWE came in and fell into my lap and that was the platform I needed to go out there and inspire, you know, women like you and also in girls and in schools and, and gymnastics centers to say, listen, if your dream doesn't happen within gymnastics, there's a, a huge platform and opportunity in different sports around the world. And with WWE, it's allowed me to share my experience and, and, and bring back everything that I learned, right? Because in the ring, I use my gymnastics abilities. I, I, I do flips off the ropes. And then also, um, it's an entertainment business where I go, go out there and, and shine personality and, and let them know that it's never say no. And never, when someone tells you no, you know, deep down inside in your heart is, is, you can do it. And I, I try and tell people that around the world. So WWE has so many different women um, all over the world that have one common goal, and that's to perform and also put smiles on people's faces and inspire women to never give up. So I believe WWE is the number one place with the strongest women around the world. And we're sending a message just like you girls are to, you know, never give up and, and follow your dreams. That's absolutely beautiful. We need more of that. We we do need more of that. Girl <laughs> power. Yeah. At this point. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Exactly. So thank you. Yeah, that was really cool. That was thank you so much.